the slash F switch determines or identifies the scan class that's used by the interface. And we do these sequentially. So the first slash F would be equi equivalent to scan class 1. The second slash F switch would be scan class 2, etc. So the order is implied, or the order of the slash Fs is what uh, determines what scan class number we use. Now there are four different ways to define a scan class. You can simply specify in seconds the number of seconds for the scanning. And just specifying, say, 0, 5 or 5 there would be 5 second scanning with no particular offset. Now if you put the number of seconds followed by a comma followed by an offset in seconds, then that means that we will schedule this to go exactly at that offset from the zero mark on the 60 second clock. So for example, if I were to specify uh, 0, 05, comma, 00, zero, that indicates that it's going to do five second scanning exactly at the top of the minute, 0, 05, 10, 15, 20. If I were to specify five seconds at two seconds offset, that would scan at two seconds, seven seconds, 12 seconds, 17 seconds, etc. Now that same functionality is available for uh, using a, an alternate format, hour, minute, second, comma, hour, minute, second. And as you can see, in both instances, uh, this is optional. You can choose not to, ch not to add an offset if you prefer. You can simply use the frequency. In the case that you don't choose an offset, what we're going to do is simply scan it at a frequency that is offset from the time that you started up the interface. So if I said, for example, 60 seconds scanning, and I started this at 12 seconds after the minute, then it's going to go at 12 seconds after for, you know, as long as that interface is running. Now one of the nice things about using this frequency and offset is I can do a kind of a load staggering. If I've got one minute scanning in both of these instances here, then I can provide an offset of 15 seconds and 45 seconds, two different scan classes. Uh, we scan, say, partial part of the tag list at 15 seconds after the minute and then the rest at 45 seconds. And for load shedding, this can, or load uh, balancing, this can be very useful. Now, just so you know, within this batch file that defines the arguments, uh, this would be considered the first scan class. This would be the second one, just because of their order. Now, here's another example of the use of scan class and offsets. Uh, for example, let's say we do 10 second scanning, but we don't put an offset. So that exactly once every 10 seconds after the time you start the interface, we're going to scan. Now compare that to when you specify an offset of 5 seconds. That means at exactly 5 seconds, 15, 25, 35, etc. That's when we're going to scan.